should be all set. Okay, so we are currently way out here at the Witch Head Nebula. The bubble's up at that away. Um, I was going to go and follow a straight line routing to get some good planets to scan. But let's see where this is. Let's go, we're going to go there and then go get the python. Because there's an, uh, another crashed anaconda that's there that is um, easier, more easily accessible. Um, the other crashed anaconda we went to um, is in real mountainous trains. It was hard to get anything done. So let's go from Shen V to Koli Dieski. Okay, so we've got this. Uh, not too many. We'll be going and doing this run here. Uh, and if you've seen these before, um, what I'm using is ED tools. They just tell you some high-end paying worlds on your route. And we're going to go through here and chart these as we go to get a little bit more cash. We got the engineer here, uh, Chloe, fully up to level five, ready to go. Um, for... Professor Palin we need selenium cadmium and isolation blockers And my kilobytes per second, for some reason there, a minute ago, went to atrocious levels. Uh, probably ED engineer kicking off and doing scans. Slowed me way down, so we should be up and good now. Yeah, it's stable. Okay. I'm hoping in not much over a year, I'm thinking in not much over a year, my I'll be moving and my bandwidth and everything will be getting a lot better. I'll be playing a little less often, but bandwidth will be a lot better.
get us above the uh, at atmosphere and the uh, orbit, orbital plane. And we're over the orbital. So I'm going to actually change up what I'm, how I've got my background stuff set up. I'm going to go like this so I can keep my route open. Nice short jump there. Oh, that's something we need to change. We'll do that while we're getting higher. Okay, we are fastest route. All right. Get a good distance from the star. I don't know if that's far enough. probably should do a full scan it's only 18 planets 15 that we have to map I was hoping that we'd be able to just grab the planet we want map it and be gone Since this is a uh, well known system, and our water world is hiding with that one. We'll go ahead and continue the scan, though. Most of the rest will be right here. Chances are the rest of them will be around this other giant. We'll go ahead and hit the giant and then go back for that one or two planets. full throttle that way I can clear this stuff up set up our next jump
And the planet we're looking for is one of the ones circling this high metal content. This one in here. Sixteen percent pioneer as it stands. And if you didn't catch any of the other streams, uh, my plan is after doing this anaconda, go into Bellabog system and make it in Python for mining to start on the 500 tons of mined stuff we need to unlock some other engineers. And that Python is going to be built a little bit different than most mining pythons. Um, because it's going to do a little bit of a double duty. At the beginning, it's going to be almost all mining, but I'm going to um, after I get the mining stuff I have to get done done, I'm going to change things up a lot until I get a lot more credits. Um, I'll set it up at uh, a base, probably the one I'm buying it at will probably have everything I want for all the other jobs. But I want to have uh, some extra storage to go do some mining runs to make some credits that way, I mean some trading runs. Uh, I want... Uh, gear it up for combat. So I'm going to have a lot of odds and end parts for it. And uh, some other things like that. Just put a whole bunch of chips in front of me to snack on while I'm doing this, and it just dawned me my mic will pick up every bit of snacking, so it's going to get some weird scr uh, scratch sounds as I mute it from time to time, just swinging the mic up.
Let's see here. How many we get? Another sixer. Hmm. 
So we'll be... Uh, no. That shouldn't have gone over. I had the uh, mic off. It should have muted. I didn't see it transmitting. LSN5, did it transmit? Or did it catch me getting a drink? I see more movement when I go and mute the headset since it's one of those that swivel the mic to mute it. And there goes my kilobytes again. I'm seeing some very wicked data numbers going on. Like I'm not getting a decent stream going out right now. I get another huge spike like that, I might have to in the stream on this one. Okay, we got a black hole in this system. I'm wondering if that's the black hole.
Okay, I'm waiting to see this rock go one more time. I missed the first lead. Interesting amount of stuff on that one. But we are a fairly good distance away from the bubbles, so. Okay, just a sec. Trying to find something here. Got an email about a previous video I had put up on right there is what I was looking for.
And I love autocorrect. Okay, back on this one. Someone just commented that my favorite um, Fed Rep Grind place is gone because of, I think it's the uh, Feds and Empire getting going at it. While well, they're getting close to going at it. Oops. Let it finish its scan. It's a long way out though.
very tempted to leave the rest of them. But something like a thousand credits a planet you scan. So that's 30,000 we'd be walking away from. Mainly because of the time. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a bunch of skipping. There is a lot of land. I believe most of these are landables that you refine the scan on. I 
Let's see. I want to see what that not phenom notable phenomenon says also. I believe it's saying something about the black hole. doesn't actually tell us anything. Well, drats. Might get all four in here. And there goes my bandwidth again. nice of it. We're facing it right now. Yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and do a rapid skip through systems that are not like right there. And actually there's, I think I'm just going to hit the earth likes on the way. Just want to save the time. And we'll get to the crashed anaconda out there. Because I think that's a decent trip in, in cruise all by itself. That's a massive set of rings around that planet over there.
Yeah, there's a huge overlap back there. Alexandrite and Musgrave. Yeah, I... <sighs> I don't want to go that far out. That's a good rule of thumb there, Don. Uh, the uh, thing I've got is I'm doing heading out to the crashed anaconda at in Coley Disky. Um, when I'm doing it solo, I do the same kind of thing to break the monotony because it's pretty easy to get real this get real monotonous. Um, And I should do it a little more often on the stream just to give people more interaction, stuff to look at. But I just want to get that anaconda, get that on the stream. And then uh, I don't think I'm going to make the... Uh, Um, <clears throat> you know, just to keep it interesting, I don't want to go and do all of this kind of stuff. I'll be doing that a lot on, I've got a fleet carrier on my main account I'm going to go out about. Oh, 20 plus thousand light years out, away from the general places, away from where Colonia is and away from other areas but into heavy star systems a lot of you know close in star systems and do a lot of exploring on that account Exactly. And that gravity issue is extreme. You get on some of those light gravity planets, and it's a pain in the rear to move your SRV around. You're skidding everywhere. Your, your minerals go flying everywhere.
Yeah, that is a good way to do it. I've got a couple ideas on uh, when I get back what I'm going to do with mine. Uh, it, mining to me is getting so monotonous. Uh, I'm actually thinking about setting up my a cutter and maybe a couple other ships and park and mine fairly close to a mining area, which is, I think, what some people do. And just grab a bunch of the mine, uh, the diamonds, run, you know, have them buy the sell the diamonds to the ship, and I'll run them out. Either doing it with the fleet carrier or with, uh, you know, a, a heavy cargo ship. Yeah, definitely. It, I took a long break when they went and changed every, where everything was. And actually, no, it's, I took a long break from mining when they went and really changed up the pricing on, uh, what you could get off of low temps and everything else. And it seemed like just before that happened, I stopped because I reset, I made this account, reset it and reset it again to do different things. Um, it seemed like I just went back to it after a long time. And it just seemed like it took a lot longer to get the same quantities and the value was nothing you know nowhere near what it used to be so I just started doing other things uh, doing mission trade runs trade runs and other things like that to make some money exploration My goal on credits is uh, to get enough credits to do the things I want to do. That's the only reason I want credits. Uh, I did a lot of mining because I was the b fastest way to make credits. Uh, when they first started talking about the fleet carriers so I could get one, if I ended up wanting one, I just barely got it now. I didn't do anything with it for a long time. Yeah, they should be. And, and once everyone starts doing other types, um, it will equalize out again. Um, but the biggest thing like, um, I don't remember if it's Yamakus, which uh, uh, YouTuber, slash streamer I think he's primarily YouTube but I know, I know I watched the video there with the breakdown on what you're able to make per hour with different doing different things in game and he lined it up with skill and other things like that and it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense game wise you know it doesn't take a whole lot of skill to mine it doesn't take much skill of this, but you don't make anywhere near what you do mining on this. I was, I'm averaging about 12 mil an hour doing exploration. But with mining, you need some upfront capital, but, and, a, and know where to go. But after that, you don't need a lot of skill or, and stuff like that to mine, but yet it's the most revenue gaining thing in the game.
And of course, the last possible planet we could scan is the one we want. Is that always the way it goes? Yeah, I'm kind of figuring I'll find something out there when I'm way out in the deep on that bleak carrier. I'm going to have my small mining python on it and an exploration ship. And I'll, when I come back with it, its hold is probably going to be pretty much full. And I just don't know yet where I'm going to go to uh, sell it all, but... With it being that far in the future, it's probably going to be out for two to three weeks, if not a month or more. So that's going to change. Oh, no, no, no. There isn't. I'm going to fl fill, I'll fill the carrier up and sell it when I get back towards the bubble or somewhere else. M namely, if I take it towards Colonia instead. And if the prices still suck when I come back in, they can stay on the ship for a while. By 50%. Yeah, I was thinking about going that way, but I want to be a little more out. Um, Actually, I should have done it there. Okay, Colonia is up over here somewhere. I was looking at going like over this way and then slowly coming back there and then back in or some other way like that. But my main thing, I want to get into real dense uh, star clusters on, my, uh, on the trip. that I, I think I'll get a lot of uh, first finds and other things like that on it and maybe find some other interesting things. I believe it. I made a pretty good amount of credits just going uh going up to colonia doing the uh i don't remember what they call that highway the the where you've got stations every couple thousand uh light years uh, i did that on the way out and then i did the uh, neutron highway back and i made something like 40 plus million in exploration well over 40 probably closer to 100 
I think this account is going to end up in Colonia. Um, after it fin I finish completely unlocking all the engineers. Because you got to think get most of them unlocked here around the bubble uh, to be able to unlock the ones in Colonia. If I'm not mistaken. That's kind of what I'm doing right now is getting that stuff together. I bet you did. And that's the kind of thing I'm hoping to do with that fleet carrier. Is something similar where I'm going to have the... Uh, Chartography, cart, uh, cartography, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Um, there. And uh, sell it straight to that ship, even though I'll make a, it'll take, they take, it'll take a cut out. Um, but that will give me income to keep the ship you know solvent and not go belly up on the ship because I'm out in the black and can't get uh, can't make any profits to cover what the expenses are that's fine I know but if I that's I'll have it there if I need it. It'd be nice if the carrier took a percentage of what anybody sells to it into its own bank, is what I would like to see. So if you have it parked somewhere and someone comes, you, uh, sells their data to it, you, get, you make money onto the carrier. But 12% is better than the 25% you'd lose selling bounties to the wrong station. Well, my rep's pretty good with most people on that account. Well, not Colonia, but because that account hasn't been there. My whole concern is if I goof, mess up, and die, there goes all the exploration credits to begin with. That's why I'm almost, I lean more towards maybe go ahead and sell it and lose the 12%. Just to, it's sold, it's in the network, it's, I didn't lose out because I wrecked the ship. Even though I haven't blown, killed, blown a ship up yet by bad flying. I've had one, several of them blow up because I went in and tried to defend myself from the things that I shouldn't have, but... As it stands right now, I wouldn't have to unless I believe that carrier is out for... Over six months. I want to make get some more credits on the account. Which I was supposed to do for a while today, but I got a bunch of other stuff I had to get done at home. Oh, yeah. Um, K 
Okay, planet three. Uh, yeah, while you're on the carrier and you're moving that way, it's no issue. But while you're out exploring, I haven't. I don't know why I'm so paranoid about blowing my ship up out exploring. I've never come close while exploring of losing a ship. But am I right about the engineers to unlock all the ones up there in Colonia? Don't you need uh, all the ones down here unlocked? Yeah. Yeah, when I reset this last time, this account last time, deleted the save, I was like, wait a minute, I just deleted a whole bunch of first discoveries and a whole bunch of other stuff like that. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. I need to research that, see which ones I, what I need unlocked. This count I've got it set pretty good engineer wise. I'll have it even better very shortly. Uh, my main account, I want to say I've got it pretty well set up for remote engineering. I've got um I think you do okay stick big fingers um uh, Mel Brooks you learned from him from Elvira he's in Colonia um I know that one at least so far, but I, I want to say there is a couple there that I learned about by engineers in the bubble once I had them maxed. Yeah, that's, um, I've got this one pretty set. I need to get only a couple more materials. Um, Chloe, I have, she's pinned with um, clean drive. Felicity's pinned for um, long range on the jumps. He's multi-cannon, overpowered. Marco is power plant. Um, Elvira is just reinforced shields because I didn't need anything else. Palin's going to be dirty drive when I get him unlocked because that's his f level five.
I would have to go and look at on my other account on what I have uh, pinned on it. But yeah, I pin pretty much all my engineers have something pinned from them without doubling up just for that reason. Uh, my main account, I build all my ships there at uh, Jameson's and they're fully engineered when they leave that station for the first time. Uh, other than uh, experimental stuff. Of course, you have to go to the engineers for that. But most of my ships don't really get a whole lot of experimental stuff done to them. Unless I need, I'm min-maxing it for something. You know, one thing I would like if they had in the game is uh, your purchase and your, what you get for selling stuff to stations varies on your rep. If you've got a good rep somewhere, you get a cheaper price for buying a module or something. And if you're sell or and you know so buying and selling commodities. But if they did something like that, I'd want them to... Well, the level of mission you can take... Um, I think you do, even if it's a basic mission, I think you do get a little bit better cash if your rep's way up there. But there's some missions you can't do because of your rep, and those are always the really good payers. But I mean modules also and commodities. So if you get, I'd want you to have to work a lot harder than just selling a page of uh, exploration data to get to ally. But if you're allied with someone, getting a 10, 15, 20% discount on something you buy from that station and you could resell it somewhere else um, for a higher price than what the mark, you know, what is generally goes for, it gives people more things to work on with rep and to do things like that. But I wouldn't want you to be locked out from, let's say, paying market value for a, a Python um, you know, to get a ship or outfit a ship. You just pay full price without a discount without a full rep set up. Yeah. Yeah, you can get those missions that are elite last missions if you have full rep. And those, of course, pay better. planets here.
Yeah, I'm looking at if it's, you know, a brand new ship. And you're equipping it for the first time. That kind of a discount just to get the ship going. It is nice how the modules, you get the same amount back for whatever you bought them for. Yeah, and I, they probably have to do that with uh, those stations that give you the discounts of 10 or percent and then I want to say there's a couple others that give you even a bigger discount but they don't have the everything um, and I think I can't remember which ones it is but you could go and just module up your ship go somewhere sell the modules with cheaper modules go back and actually make credit if they sold if you got the full price for them and when you're looking at A 6A fuel scoop is what, 28 million? Yeah, full price, 26. So you'd make 2 million just by swapping that thing out at another station. You fully equip a. Uh, Something like an anaconda with all uh, top level A items, and then go somewhere and sell them off to get like level uh, two, three grades lower. Then go back and do it again. I, that'd make some money. Yeah, I basically, oh, I missed that one pretty bad. Um, I basically, uh, on my main account, use Jameson's for all my ship stuff and I've got a bunch of modules set aside at Jameson's I don't know if it's how many ships I could build with them but that's where if I'm swapping things over to do one thing and change up to another that's where I generally go And actually, a lot, also a lot of times, I just make a ship for a certain task. If it's going to be a repeatable, repeated task, I just 
keep it set up that way and parked. Um, like three, three pythons, a passenger for uh, the Rubigo runs. Um, a combat python and then a mining python and I'm actually contemplating building a trade python yeah you just engineer up one module and then switch it back around and all that stuff I just like grabbing it and going. And also like my uh, passenger python is sitting at Rubigo. Uh, my Diamondback Explorer I've got on that account is a, it does like 70 light, almost 70 light years of jumps, almost as good as my uh, jump a conda and I just go and use it to get around the bubble to wherever I have ships parked for di different tasks yep the main reason I do it the way I was talking about is the uh That mining, uh, that passenger python all the way out to Rubigo, um, it's, even with good uh, engineered jump drives and everything, it'll take you a while to get out there. I just want to get there as quick as I can, do what I want for that day, and then, you know, get out of there. So I parked it there. Um, I had a... Uh, a chieftain I think it was a chieftain it was one of those that I set up for uh, Xeno anti-Xeno ops and I had it parked in a stage uh, system not to not too far from where the Xenos were active uh, things like that and I just leave the ship there and I just use my bubble bus to jump me around rapidly Because that first account I did um, elite with trading, so I had over a billion credits right off the get-go, and I just bought different ships to do different things for a long time, and I fully set them up, min-maxed them for uh, whatever task I was going to have them do. This, all those ships were built before fleet carriers were about. Uh, that's why. Um, I've got five or six ships that are sitting at um, Jameson's. All my others are scattered around. Uh, actually... I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of this data we're carrying around. Um, you, 
you do get a pretty good cost every time you jump the fleet carrier. I think it's a hundred thousand credits or something. I can't remember. I, I'd have to pull it back up. But you, you're charged per jump on maintenance and some other things. For a while there, I had my fleet carrier when I first got it, I parked it over by where I was going to do some mining, but I don't know if it was just because I took such a long break from mining that I didn't realize how that how bad and slow it was. Yep. I already have three of my ships on the fleet carrier now. Um, when I go and do the trip, I don't think I'm going to have much more than that on it. I'm going to have my Asp Explorer with my SRVs. I'm going to have a mining python and I think I might have my Jumpaconda on it, but probably not. I think I'm going to go with a cutter and have some massive cargo capability on it. That way, if I do need to go in, I want to go and run something back into the bubble, I can do it with that and then go back to the fleet carrier. But it's also that way, if I do go to Colonia, I've got the ships I'm going to want with me those I might put my combat python on there or my crate just so if I go to Colonia I can you know do some other stuff either high reses or uh, some other combat zones I don't think I'm going to keep my cutter as a mining ship. It just take, takes so long solo filling one of those ships up. In a wing, I don't think it's quite as bad. And I think my fleet carrier is only like one or two jumps from Shinrata right now. Because I moved it back in towards the bubble to get to transfer everything onto it before taking off. But yeah, I'm gonna I wanna get a bunch more thinking about getting some more tritium first, but I've got plenty to get me out and I can find some along the way. Uh the main thing is I want another two to three hundred million before I take off. All right, you have a good one. And see you some other time, Don. Okay, we got that stuff done. And now we need to go to Coley Disky.
Alright, so that's done. Um, let's open up. So we've got, let's see. Friendship drive charging. We'll see how far out that planet is. If it's a long ways out, I think I'm going to get us there and then reset the stream again because of time Get out here. Check on this crashed anaconda, see how well it looks. sure we're clear on the sun we need to go to c6a so 90,000 Ninety thousand. Ouch. The big thing here is at these crashed anacondas, you can get uh, the top level uh, metals and we need cadmium and selenium and pharmaceutical isolators to uh, also to get um, Professor Palin unlocked. So what I'm going to do is just get us out there. I'll do a loop around it. Show you roughly what it is. What you got to do. Reset the stream. I'll do a couple more loops. Well, I'll turn the stream, stop the stream. I'll do several more loops around there to get some more materials. And then I'll uh, bring you back on. Because we got to go do the get the python going
stats, trading. We've only done four networks. Um, actually, let's see what the distance is. I'm really thinking. All the way over there. This is going to take a while to get out there. Let's just go ahead and get the Python. We'll do this Anaconda on another stream dedicated to it. with what I want to do on the Anaconda. It's... going to be very... quick build. Um, and the... Three bodies. Do we have stations and everything? We've got stations and everything. We're not going to worry about it. Um, and all I'm, I'm not going to go out and mess with low temp diamonds, painite, void opals, or anything like that. I just want to get as much mining done as I can. As rapidly as I can. Um, so, to unlock that, those last two engine, uh, the two other engineers I want. Okay, only two bodies for this one. We'll go into Bellabog and see what planets are there. Um, Chung is the one that needs the some of that stuff I have not seen 
listening for heat just in case I slowed down in the wrong spot. There it is. Let's get us over that way. He's not all that far away. Drop this back a little bit. Get that there. Get this and this. All right, cool. We're going over here. We've got planets right by us that we should be able to get some mining done at. We won't even have to leave the station system. And what would be even more ideal is if we can do it right here. Because this planet, we're... Nope, we're not orbiting that one. Twenty-eight light seconds away. And what we'll be doing is parking this ship here, do the mining, and then do uh, everything else that we need to unlock those engineers. I want to go and pull up what's needed material wise. And if I need to gather up a bunch more materials and go through a bunch of uh, the material traders, which is highly possible. We'll hold off unlocking some of those individuals. Um, Okay, and that's shield boosters on that individual. Um, Professor Palin. Okay, that will be... Those two are the last ones that I'm really working on. 
need 10 units of painite and that other stuff because Professor Palin doesn't open up any other engineers. Um, So if we go and look at Celine Jean, um, don't want that. That's a lot of materials we're going to need for Celine. A lot of materials I got to go. We got to get. So let's take a look at Bill Turner. Need to get a bunch of salvaged alloys, but that's only a level three thing. Thing is, his biggest stuff is plasma accelerators. And we'll be able to max out his pretty easily. We just need to pick up, swap around some stuff. I think we'll have enough materials. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we'll have enough by swapping some stuff around to get him done. But that's not going to be very soon because Celine Jean, we need to get some stuff for her. So, besides the mining stuff, uh, let's go ahead and hit these guys. And get some credits. Um, go to the shipyard. Okay. I'm not seeing it. I don't want to type nine. And there's no Python in here. Okay. So. Which way do I want to go? A 
Type 7 can do it. Um, but I wanted the dang python. We don't have the credits to equip a 9. Let alone an anaconda. The python should be somewhere between these three. All right. Let's try this again. Remake the python. Um, that and that. I would be keeping that stuff the way it is. Um, that's the same. This. A heat seek launcher because I just always want one. Um, do, 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 do. that there. Okay. We are in Bello Bog system. It says this one has it. but I am not seeing a python here. So, let's go with the next one they have on their list. LHS 2931. And this is why I really, really cannot wait till I get in Jameson's. Because at Jameson's, it wouldn't be an issue. They have all the ships, all the modules. So we're going to go in there. And according to this, three days ago, the prices were updated. But we're at that station. And we don't have the ship. They have all the modules, but no ship. So now we get to find out if we've got the right kind of planets in this one. We might have to come back here to do the mining.
never fails. I get impatient, I hit the boost again, and boom, what do you know? And we're going to Lee Station. It's the first time that that's happened to me using the Coriolis setup. But I don't think it's actually Coriolis that's the issue. It's using the EDDB's Elite Dangerous Data Bank website to tell you where that station is that has the ship and all the modules. And for some reason, It has that station having a Python in it, and it doesn't. And so as we come into this station, and we're on auto dock, I'll take a look at what planets we have around us. A lot of ships. Interesting ships. I don't remember if we did this. Honk. Every system. We'll go back to the other station, the other system.
Okay, we got 18. That's better than the last one. There's a python. Starport services, outfitting, and this is going to take out some of the. Do, 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 do. Mining tools. Okay, that's the ones we need there. Browse the shop. We want a heat sink. Now, they use a lot. There's a lot of difference in wave uh, and temp. I mean, in a uh, power draw. Not anything in weight, but it's the power draw that gets you on these. And, of course, the price. The thing is, the higher the rating, the further the range. Yeah, let's go ahead with the A. Core components. Twenty point four. What I'm looking at here is the huge weight difference. Um, I think we can get away with the A. Yeah, we're going to go here.
eventually we will, will be upgrading that to six A's because like I said, I want to go um, and have this do in multiple rolls. We want the, as much power distribution as we can get. I always go with 4D. It's the lightest and seven and a half minutes is enough. Okay, let's fix it from the top. Okay, this five. Is going to a five D. Collector limpets. This is also a five D collector limpet. Four is a four A refinery. The refinery and the, I'm not a hundred percent on, but the prospector limpets. I am 100% on, you always A-rate it. Okay, Prospector Limpet. I'm going to go with this one. This is five tons. This is two. I'll take the extra three tons for a little uh, for it does faster recharge and some other things. Yeah. Let's save some cash and go with that. Three D shield. This is getting changed to that. And this Detailed surface scanner. Okay. We are now set. Restock all. That was a hefty price tag. Fire groups. We're going to go with two.
Actually, I'm going to go that way with this. Pulse wave is one. Discovery scanner is that. No, that goes away. That's a two. That's the one. Yeah, let's go with two on that and a one on that. I believe that's a setup fairly well. So we can exit out of that. Go to remote workshop. Frame shift drive. Let's see how much we can get on this. I think we're only gonna be able to get to three. I don't think we have the materials for level four. We do for at least a couple. All right. That'll give us good jump range. We're at 90% power usage. What can we do on the power plant? We can get a lot. And this will be it. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna do shield generator. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, he's only level four and she was only three on that. Okay. Um, now we are at 76% of power usage. Perfect. Um, we've done zero mining, I believe is what it's gonna show as. Yep. This is the one we need 500 of. All right. So, can we sell anything? Yes, we can. Get rid of that. Commodities market. What we're looking at is if we've got anything that that's a pretty good markup but it's planet side I'd rather not go planet side like this one wouldn't be planet side Planets again. 1601 for the semiconductors. Let's go ahead and fill our hold with that. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Any missions to Billabog? See, we could have done this. Um, 
I should have looked at this missions, the mission board first. Not a single data courier mission. Oh well. And Bello Bog. Oh yeah, that works. It will go to that system. Uh, sell this stuff. Well, turn the, uh, sell it. And I'll stop the stream there. And I'm just going to go do a bunch of mining for a while tonight. Uh, from there, this is to help out with, uh, And if you didn't notice, we're not scooping because we didn't put a fuel scoop on the ship. Because I'm not planning on taking it anywhere that it needs one yet. All right, who is, oh, 50 markets. Li Chung with shield generators. That's what I'm working on. And he'll get me Ram Tam, which is, well, he shield generators. Ram Tam is Olympic controllers, heat sinks, point defenses. And stuff like that so uh, yeah so that's what I'm doing this side job for is that plus gives us a little bit of credit to come in over here Come on. Not seeing much here.
what did we have on here? Muscovite and Alexandrite. And we very well, I might just go right back to that planet to finish the rest of it. Shame, shame on me. depends on what I see coming out but like I said I'm not in it for the higher paying ones I just want to get a bunch of stuff mined that will build up some of our low grade engineering materials also because stuff like your carbon sulfur iron and several other items like that you get large amounts of it from mining made almost 180,000 credits. Okay, advanced maintenance. Not worried about that stuff. We need limpets. And that's going to be good enough for me for, because I'm not going to be doing it for very long tonight. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. Hope you have a good weekend. Catch y'all lettuce.